And you, so you feel like an edge does it give you an I edge? I feel more powerful. I feel more powerful because uh, it gives me that edge. It gives me more knowledge. Knowledge is power, especially in this game. Yeah. Is the, you know, if I'm able to make adjustments, better because I know why I'm doing something, Thanks I can make know. adjustments from pitch to pitch. I'm not battling, I'm not going through streaks. You know, like, what's and, going on? Why, why do I keep missing here? Why do I don't feel like I have everything behind the ball? You know, you should I know. know. And, and even and last year, I had just, you know, I was just beginning to understand. You know, it's what's neat is having a lot better of understanding of what I'm trying to do. Is it too much information though sometimes? Sometimes, absolutely. Sometimes yeah. you need to step back and just have yeah, fun with like, it. Just throw it, yeah. But, at, you know, at the same time, if, if you've gone through the process of understanding the information, let's use that information. And then use that, and if you're hitting those spots, okay, cool, clear the clear your mind. I'm a very mechanical pitcher, so I can think mechanics on the mound. It works for me. If I don't think mechanics, things start going to crap. So I need to think mechanics on the mound. I need to think, okay, this is where I'm trying to go, and you know, now I'll get my arm up. Because if I think that, I end up getting better results, better, more consistent results. When I don't think about it, things just don't. <laughs> I'm not throwing strikes. That's where I get into problems. I, I've had a lot of walks in the past because of that. Um, and so it, it just, it's a lot of knowledge for me. I love it. I want as much knowledge about myself as I possibly can get. So last one. So for someone like, you know, even our other minor league guys who weren't in your position as a veteran coming in with their approach or whatever, another approach into a season, a lot of these younger guys feel like, you know, that they don't have that kind of uh, luxury or, you know, openness that you, you've had. Like, what do you advise to those guys that maybe feel like it's going to be too confrontational with their organization bringing in this kind of an out-of-the-box approach. What do you advise them to do? What I advise is, you know, it, it stinks, it sucks, let's be honest, but you have to make, you have to find a way to make it work. You, you have to smile, nod, oh, absolutely. Show, try it in front of them, and then, but when it comes time to get your work done, if you want to get better, you've got to find a place, find a hole somewhere, where no one else is going to see you and get your drills in. You have to do it. Because what's going to happen is, because you know the system, it's just bottom line, it works because we do the things you need to do on the mound. We do what high velocity pitchers do. So if you want to make yourself a high velocity pitcher, you have to train like one. You have to pitch like one. So don't start just because, you know, a lot of guys, they might have a really good idea and they might want to really help you. That doesn't necessarily mean that is going to help you. So if you don't think what they're telling you is going to help you, do what they say, absolutely, give it a shot, but when it comes time to getting your work and go find somewhere, go do it in your hotel room at night, go do it in your dorm room, you know, go, I, I find myself doing it constantly. When I'm walking down a hotel, you know, like I remember this year we were in Pittsburgh, walking down the hotel, every time by the elevators there's always a big mirror there on the back of the wall in between the two. And I end up finding myself like, like trying to draw, trying to separate. And I, right, I've, I've been caught many times with the elbow opening up and teammates saying, "God damn it, Arjun, you're a psycho." Yep. Um, <laughs> you know, but at the same time, it's it's ingrained in my head, man. I know I need to hit these spots for me to be successful, and I've got no chance to lose, man. I can't. I don't have room to, to you know, to not do it. I don't have tomorrow. You know, tomorrow I might be home with my kids and never be playing again. So for me, it's I got to get it done. And, and, you know, luckily I've had a long career. But for you, if you're in college, you're in minor leagues, you're in high school somewhere, and you're going, oh, yeah, I got tomorrow. No, you don't. No, you don't. To, to be honest, this game can end, end your career really quick. So put everything you have into every rep. You know, find a spot where no one's watching and do it. But if you, if, if you don't, you're just making excuses. Yeah, I mean, I think it, that, that last moment, that last game you play in your career, um, I think why it's it's hard to it's depressing and you might be crying it's because you know there was something you could have done to maybe do it better yeah. and I think that's the hardest thing so make sure you're doing that make sure you're doing whatever it takes to make to where you know you're giving yourself the best shot best shot best opportunity to have the best success and um, yeah and, and if unfortunately if you have to hide it or if you're lucky enough for your organization sports it um, then, then kudos to you, but if you have to hide it, um, you gotta do what you do, it's your career and those guys really aren't looking out for your career, so. Yeah. Cool, so if you have a question, 
Uh, that was a great question, Frank. Go to Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. Snapchat. I'm here for a couple more days, so yeah. I'm here for about, about five more days. Yeah, so, so if get you your more. questions in now, and we'll try to answer a, a couple every day. Because we won't see them. It'll be uh, spring training, kicking some ass. All right, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, at Top Lossy, hashtag Pitch Tips, hashtag Racial Tips. Check out the Top Lossy programs, toplossy.net. See you on the next episode.